Hello everyone, it's Dina, aka Giddy Girl, and this morning I had posted my trifold folio project share in case you wanted to know how to make these little guys. And um, if you missed that, I will go ahead and post that link below. And today what I'm doing is I'm showing you the finished project. Um, these measure six inches in height and about four and a quarter in width. And what I did was, um, this one's actually my swap um, submission. That one's going to somebody. And this one, I kind of wanted to show you a different way that you could use these. Um, I mentioned, I think in the previous video, that you can actually, if you leave them probably thin enough, you could actually use this in a journal. Um, but you can also just send this as a little goodie to somebody. So I will show you this particular one first. Let me move this one out of the way. We're just going to get right down to it. Um, I had this ribbon last year and so I, it was a bow and I was able to do three projects out of it so that was kind of cool. Um, so basically just recycling the bow and all I did was just wrapped it around my folio. thought it just gave it some nice um, texture. I got this particular um, shaker, I think, I want to say I got it at either Tuesday morning or I think it was Tuesday morning actually, it came in four. So this is nice because it blended everywhere and then this paper here is, is paper that I had as a close to my heart consultant and so that was in my stash and I love it and I thought this was totally perfect for this. And what I'm calling this is I'm calling this an embellishment folio. So that's basically what this is. You can make something like this and, and, and stuff it with some embellishments and some handmaids and then send this to your little pen pal. And of course, um, this happened to say hip hip hooray and then I had um, this little strip from a 12 by 12 that said Wonderland. So I thought that was totally perfect. I didn't do anything on the inside only because like I said, this is an embellishment um, folio and it's thick as it is. So I didn't want to add any more thickness to it. And so this is the first flap the middle is the pocket and then here again is the other side of the flap and what I did was is I stuffed in here um, some washi samples I stuck in here um, some little envelopes again these are from Tuesday morning I thought it blended nicely with the colors and let me see if I can actually zoom you in just a tiny bit more okay and then I put in a nice chipboard tag and this is basically just using my scraps. I didn't do anything decorative on this side. This is cardstock. Um, and what I did was just recycled some um, old packaging. So that was nice. That's nice and sturdy. Um, I left it gray just in case somebody wanted to do some journaling on it. And again, I was able to um, use some leftovers of that um, ribbon. And I just stapled it here. So again, I kind of left it um, plain. I like the staples, but whoever gets this actually could probably just... Um, put a gem on there that would look super pretty. In this pocket I made, I made another big tag again using um, packaging from other materials and leaving it blank on one side. What I did here is I actually covered the back because of the staples because I had put four across and so it is a bigger tag and I didn't want anybody to snag um, their skin on it. So um, I actually covered that up. And I, I love this paper. This paper is so pretty. Okay, and here I put the most beautiful thing, and then this little guy is just a little envelope um, that has some little goodies in it. Let's see if I can remember which way to go to open this. I used this little envelope. Um, I made it from my little We Are Memory Keepers mini punch board. And I can't honestly remember what I stuck in here, so let's see. And actually, it's I used repositional um, tape. And I honestly don't remember. Oh, I put some little doodads in here, some little gems. So there's just a little collection of gems there. And some paper clips. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then I just kept it with a the theme. And I'm going to put that right back there. And that's probably what's making it pretty chunky. Here I included some more. Basically the same thing as this. Some more envelopes. Just utilizing some more of the paper that I had used for this folio. And I had cut um, some wording, Merry Christmas, for a card. And I thought, you know, 
it's very glitzy, very glittery. I'm not throwing that away, and that can actually be used on a card. So I thought that was super pretty. Probably going to blind you guys with this. And I just put that in here, in this pocket. And I chose not to seal this in. So I didn't close these pockets, and you totally could do that if you wanted to. And then for the back, I left it plain. So you could put quite a bit if you use some flat embellishments. If like if I just kept the tag and didn't do this, I probably um, it'll it'll close nice and flat. See, but my trim here again, this was leftover trim, um, just kind of bulks it up a little bit. How fun is that? All right, so that's my embellishment folder. Now for my swap item. Um, <laughs> I normally not a cutesy cutesy person, but I have to tell you, I did have a lot of fun with this one. So let me go ahead and unravel it. Again, I just wrapped it around. I had bought last Valentine's Hobby Lobby. I think I think Hobby Lobby opened mid mid year or something, and I can I say I can say last year now because we're in 2018, and they had some fun felt type. Um, goodies and so I had these kitties here and then I got some for the puppies which is basically this um, they don't smell the best when you open them um, but they're super cute and this little guy came with different clothing but what I decided to do is trace what originally came in the package and just trace it on my coordinating paper and that way he would blend in nicely so um, he's already made, he's not paper pieced at all. The only thing I paper pieced was his little shirt and I just put his bow on there and that's it. And then I just added some flat back pearls. Um, this is from another ephemera collection that I wanted to use. And I, I, I think that is super cute. Like I'm pretty proud of this cuteness. And on the inside, this is from that um, ephemera pack. And I added some um, waxy flax, red waxy, waxy flax, and then I did some cut out hearts and kind of added to the end and stuck it down. Some more flat back pearls. Um, this washi tape goes all the way around the folio. And then I kind of just pop this um, piece up here too. So I, that, that is super cute. I spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> and to open it up, this is what we get. So I actually closed the pocket this is basically the same base as my um, my embellishment folder. And what we have here in the pocket, um, the, the swap details were to put in three recipes that are savory and sweet. Um, I don't really make a lot of sweets, and I don't really make a lot of savory. And so I really couldn't think of anything that was a favorite of, of uh, savory. So but what I did come up with is sweets, because that was pretty easy for me. So I hope she's not disappointed in that. Um, so I did, um, I forgot to call this something, but these are the salt caramels, okay? And so what I did was, is I basically made a little uh, recipe card and I put the um, instructions, ingredients instructions. And because I didn't have a lot of room and I didn't want to make the font any smaller to where you would have to put, use a magnifying glass, I went ahead and did a double-sided card. And so here are the rest of the instructions. And then I used coordinating paper and made little paper tabs on it. And again, because I stapled it, I didn't want them to snag their their fingers or their hands on it. I went ahead and put the tag on first and then overlaid it with the instruction. So it's nice and covered. And on the backs, I actually did line it with some paper. I thought it kind of finished it off nicely. And then I stuck in here um, some stickers. This is kind of a lot of like girl power stuff, but I thought it was super cute and wanted her to have it. I had extras, so I put that in there. And then in this pocket, I had these puffy hearts. Um, a few of these are silver on the other side. I made a little label for it, for a little topper, and then added him. That'd be super cute. Um, I honestly don't remember the ephemera pack. I think it's by Pebbles, and I think I got it at, yep, I got it at Tuesday morning for a buck ninety-nine. You might be able to find some still there okay and it's funny because she had already sent me hers and I'll show that to you too um, she sent me hers and I think she used the same ephemera pack I had some leftover of um, 
glitter paper and rather using it rather than wasting it I decided to cut her a little tag there so that's some nice little glitzy for that pocket this particular pocket I thought this is super cute I llama you I used some um, I had a lot of supplies from last year because I was doing a lot of pocket letters and so um, that's where basically this is coming from and again this I think this is from Hobby Lobby honestly don't know where I got these I want to say Hobby Lobby again um, and I honestly think I hit it up after um, Valentine's so they were discounted but anyways this was um, there was three to a stem or grouping bundle they were kind of a uh, uh, floral wrap type thing and so I just separated them and I just cut it down and I thought that was a super cute addition just to kind of hang in there um, once it was folded so she's getting that and then this other sweet recipe is chocolate cake and again I did a paper um, tab and then of course it's on the back side as well on this flap my recipe is red velvet cupcakes I love cake, love cupcakes. I love it, I love it, I love it, especially when it's done really well. So I don't eat a lot of it, but I do love it. And again, I did it on the back as well. And in this pocket, I included a little stamp set that I got at my local um, craft store called Craft Warehouse. So that's going in there. And then I included some of the flat back um, pearls that I used for her um, her page, her folio. And then of course this one says XO. And then here's the back. This was a note card that I had gotten at Target. Um, I think it was the dollar spot. And that was again last year. And so I made it into a pocket. And this was actually opening on open on this side. I ended up um, cutting it at the top and trimming it down and just cutting it down to the, um, the size I need so I could use it. And then I just included um, two of these tags. It's pretty tight because it's full. This folio is full. And so I thought that was nice and pretty. Um, she's going to get this before Valentine's and so I thought maybe she could use these supplies for any of her other um, Valentine creativity fun. So that is my swap that I am sending um, to my partner. I hope she enjoys it. And so that was that was just a super that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing this. Like I said, I don't normally do cutesy, but I really got into it in my opinion. So that's that. And since I finished my other swap um, that I'm sending to my partner tomorrow, I thought I would go ahead and share that with you. Um, this particular and where I'm swapping you guys is it was called Paper Crafting Friends. I think she just changed the name to um, Veronica's Creative Friends. Um, it's pretty fun. They do a lot of swaps. They do maybe any three to four swaps every Monday. Um, and I think they're usually do like two and a half to three weeks. I love it because you have to, um, you have to basically hook up with a mentor. Um, you, it's the same person, the first person and you, um, you send, I, I think it's whatever she requests. I can't remember what it was. I think it was an ATC card. You send it to her and she sends you something back and that's one way to get in and then once you completed that task you go to the second mentor um, and she dictates or she tells you what she wants um, made it was a tag and vice versa you swap with her and once you've completed those two then you're in you're free to swap with everybody and I love that because it just holds everybody accountable um, I know those of you that like to swap realize that sometimes we encounter not so much fun um, people that don't follow through on their um, their commitments and so it's kind of just frustrating so I did like the whole concept of this and so that made me feel comfortable and safe swapping with people I mean because when you're swapping it's time and it's money right sure it's therapeutic because you're crafting and you're and you're getting your creative juices flowing with somebody's ideas but it's it's really nice to be able to receive your return swap and see what other people are creating a lot of times the reason why I do it is to get ideas um, so yeah I I love it when people follow through so these swaps that I'm doing right now is actually my first group swap um, with this group so we'll see how that goes so this particular um, <clears throat> swap is a I've never made one of these is a mini circle pocket had to be three to four inches and of course Valentine theme and so this is what I made and it's stuffed 
and let me I'll just take the goodies out and then you'll see my final product so my final product will be again if, if I'm speaking to junk journalers this would be really cute to put in your junk journal so this is my little pinwell and um, I actually got it from the same person that I got the inspiration on this um, they when they when they say hey here's the swaps um, the the host they'll leave, they'll put YouTube videos on there of examples and where you can go um, learn how to do it and so um, I don't remember her name that I picked it from but um, I'll try to I'll try to remember to put that down in the comments and so it was her inspiration that I drew from and when I was looking at one of her other videos um, it was funny because I actually was subscribed to her but you know how you get so many <laughs> that you subscribe to you kind of forget um, I remember seeing one of her other videos and she was showing her stuffed <clears throat> tag envelopes I think and one of them she had was a die that she used that was a pen well well I don't have the die but I do have it on my Cricut subscription and so um, these are two pieces put together they, you know when you've got long nails like me that's it was a lot of work to do it I think I spent a lot of time <laughs> doing this and I was gonna do several pinwells for some future projects but I think I'm good with just doing the one for now um, I actually ended up putting the brad in the back side just so I can have something to flip my pinwell over and you know put it through the brad so I thought this is super cute um, two-sided paper works best you get the contrast and all I did was I glued um, I can't remember what you call these but there's not actual gems in it but it's very blingy I love that I know that camera is catching it so I ended up um, gluing this this is like a skewer stick that you would use for like shrimp skewers um, I just cut that down wrapped it with washi tape and then glued it um, uh, butt up to the brad with hot glue okay and then I just put this little bling on there and I don't I think I got this at Michael's so just cut from that and then on the front side I did the same thing I just glued this on there so I thought because I couldn't find any circles that I had to do the back so I thought why not just bling it on both sides okay so that's my little pinwell that was a lot of talk on this little pinwell <laughs> um, also what I put in there is some extra of those um, I thought that would be kind of fun for her to have and it was just a nice balance and then on the inside um, I included some of the ephemera from the that pebbles ephemera pack my heart belongs to you and then I included die cuts for two more pinwheels so um, and it's got the little holes in it, the holes in it but it's really tiny so um, hopefully she has fun making those <laughs> I'm not sure if I did I, I did but I it was fun to do one so I sent her two so that way she could do it if she looks at this video again it's two of them that you kinda basically do it like that to where it creates the full pen well so there's that I also included um, some little envelopes that I made with my little we are memory um, makers mini punch envelope maker I didn't close it because I didn't know if she would want to leave it open like this or maybe she wants to use this side so I kind of left that up to her I did round out one corner um, and then I punched out I, th I made her four envelopes and then I punched out some mason jars uh, with my scrap paper so I loved how this one kind of landed I did that on purpose how this flower just kind of landed on the side there so I thought that was super cute she can add some little gems on there um, maybe add some wink Stella on the flowers maybe even do some glossy accents on there just to kind of make that a little bit more glossy and so here's the other paper and I did two sizes of envelopes so one's a little actually nope she got three because I didn't have any more room to stuff in there so in order to save some of the space I just stuffed the mason bar jars in there so but this would be cute to put um, maybe use some solid cardstock and just have some overflowing hearts or something in it or some gems just kind of spilling out of this envelope would be super cute here's another um, little journal card maybe I just want to be yours and then this is my finished little um, mini pocket my mini circle pocket isn't it cute I just love it so and this is the back um, the paper that I'm using is authentique for the most most part through here this is the Valentine essentials I was so lucky that I found nope this one yeah so what it happened was is I found a small packet at, um, at Tuesday morning and not knowing 
I went to Craft Warehouse, I'd gotten this big pack. I had a 40% off coupon, so I got it off the $24.99. Now, I love my Craft Warehouse, but I will tell you it's a little bit more expensive than some of my other craft stores. They hardly ever have the coupons. They're only in Oregon and Washington, by the way. Um, they hardly have the coupons, but when they did, I take advantage of it. And this was a thicker pack. I think this came with like 24 sheets. I'm not sure. Um, but the one thing I do know, if you're needing Graphic 45, if you're needing specific things like Authentique, Echo Park, they definitely have it because they have a huge selection. So um, it is definitely my go-to when I absolutely am, am just dying and I need it. So, But I had picked up a smaller pack at um, Tuesday morning. They had the sticker sheet in it. And I didn't even realize they were of the same. So that was really, that was super funny. So, and I think this one was called Sweetheart Details because it has a paper strip here. And um, I don't know, this bigger paper pack is called Collection Romance. And so, but it had a lot of the same papers I was able to put. So that was, that was kind of a happy accident, really. So I have a lot of it. But anyways, that's the paper pack that I'm using. Um, this here is glitter paper that I had in my stash. I thought it would just put a nice little pop on there. And so, yeah, I really love it. I put um, I put some lace here. And then um, my friend Lori had sent me um, some pearls, this little guy that I had made in the previous project. And so I was able to utilize some of this. This is going a long ways, Lori. If you're watching this video, this is just like, this is like gold right here. I love this. And so I was able to um, do some strands just kind of coming off. And I just glued that in with hot glue. And I had this little sticker pack, came in a fours. Don't know where I got it. I can't tell you. But yeah, I'm just utilizing my stash from last year for pocket letters. And um, this came from the, the Pebbles Ephemera, this little guy. And I really love how that came out. And I will tell you a little trick too, if you have a Cricut, rather than waste a whole glitter sheet for something like this. I did a slicing um, technique on on um, Cricut Design Space and since I knew this was the same circle that I was going to use on the inside, rather than waste the whole glitter sheet and have a piece of paper over this, I just took this piece and I'm putting it away for something else and then I just put my pattern paper in there. So there's no waste there. I'm not covering up that beautiful glitter paper with just regular cardstock because I really want to utilize this somewhere else. Okay. So I thought that was super cute. Um, yeah, and then there's the pocket there. Like I said, there was only so much room to put stuff in it, but I think I got a lot in there. I think I totally succeeded in there, and I think I did what I'm supposed to do with the swaps. This is the first time I did it, so I'm pretty happy with it. And that's it. So like I said, I just got done with this literally before I started filming um, the video for the trifold, so you guys get to see this. So I think that's it. Until next time, you guys, um, I'm kind of toying with some new ideas for YouTube. Um, I would love to start doing something once a week um, and then I'll probably have some other things um, in addition to like some swap things and stuff like that but I'd like to have some things that are kind of consistent I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I tell you I am gonna do this and um, I don't follow through because I am still intimidated by editing YouTube videos so I really need to find some sort of tool and I think at this point I'll even pay for it if it makes it really easy so um, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this and you know, if you guys have an idea of what you use or not, obviously you have an idea because you use it, but if you have a recommendation on what program you use and it's super simple, I would love to know what that is because that really is, that whole aspect of YouTube videos is what's keeping me from filming more. So anyways, and I'm not as great as some of the other YouTubers where they just go with it. I say, um, a lot and I stumble and I have to restart like three times and then I have to do a little extra like blah 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 kind of thing <laughs> and breathe in and out before I start so all right I'm being a little goofy I think it's probably almost bedtime even though it's 5 30 I got up way too early this morning with excitement to get in my craft room so anyways I am going to check out now <laughs> I hope you guys had an amazing new year and until next time I'll talk to you later bye